bit different for Missouri residents as the Missouri Republican Party gears up for its caucus Saturday morning. State lawmakers did away with the presidential preference primary elections. Jay Ashcroft says the caucus system allows each party to control the process by which candidates are vetted and win delegates for the party conventions later this year. So the Republicans doing their caucus, they are entirely in control of those rules and how they want to do it. So we're really acting more as um, a reference for them. If they need information, if they need you know voter data information that's a public record, we give that to them. We're hoping to try to get out information about it as they give it to us. But the rules and how it's run are all up to the Missouri Republican Party. Democrats will not have caucuses. Instead, they'll have a primary on March 23rd after allowing party members to mail in their votes or vote in person in a new hybrid process. Jay Ashcroft says even with the scrapping of a traditional presidential primary election, he does not anticipate a massive turnout for the GOP caucus this weekend. Sadly, we never have large turnouts for the presidential preference primary, so we don't expect that we would suddenly have a large turnout with the caucus. This is also kind of a, an interesting election because you have an incumbent president, although on the Democrat side, running against the prior president on the Republican side. So it's almost like it's it's just it's a different race than we've had. Ashcroft says people planning to participate in caucuses this weekend should plan to arrive well before the lo they lock the doors at 10 a.m. and should have their government issued photo IDs with them. He says the times at which caucus results come in will vary by county, but party officials expect to have all results by Saturday afternoon. For a list of all the locations, you can find this story on our website, krcgtv.com. With the legislature